Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The detail news follows. The crime branch picked up four accused in connection with the Bala Benikar murder case. The arrested persons have been identified as Chetan Sunil Hazare, Rajat Raja Tabe, Bharat Rajendra Pandit, and Ashim Vijay Luderkar. All resident of Jatarodi locality under Imamwala police station jurisdiction. The first three accused were nabbed from Ramtek while Laderkar was taken into custody from Imamwala area. Another accused Aniket Aliyad Abhishek is still at large at police are hopefully of arresting him soon. The plot of killing Binekar had been hatched by main accused Chetan Hazare whose father Sunil had been murdered by him 19 years ago. Police personnel investigation the case are fully convinced therefore that it is, it is a case of revenge killing. P.I. Santosh Khandekar, P.I. Trupti Sonone and others have been instrumental in arresting the accused while ACP Sudhir Nandanwar and others are investigating the case. With effect from today, the Home Department shall keep a strict vigil on all private hospitals of the city. Home Minister Anil Deshmukh on Sunday said that the step is being taken in a view of the repeated complaints of private hospitals and laboratories extracting huge amount of money from corona patients coming to light. From today onwards, team of NMC Nagpur Police and Food and Drug Administration shall be making surprise visit to private hospitals, COVID-19 testing laboratories and plasma laboratories of the city. In this concern, the police department has launched a toll-free number 100 and a WhatsApp number 9823300100 if citizens want to register complaint against any hospitals or laboratory for overcharging patients. The Nagpur Municipal Corporation too also has a launch helpline 0712-256-7021 and 0712-255-1866. Another numbers are 18002333764 to assist people in seeking admission to hospitals if found corona positive. The coronavirus pandemic is compelling several traditions to be broken. Apart from break to grant Sri Ram, Sabhayatra, Ramadan, Eid, Marbad and Ganesh Utsav, COVID-19 will now cause the shifting of the annual Ravan Dahan event from Kastuchat Park to Kadvi Chow. The Saharan Cham Yuvan Sabha has been organizing the Ravan Dahan program at Kastujan Park since the last 68 years. It is one of the largest cultural events of Central India in which around one and a half lakh people from Nagpur and surrounding areas gather to view the event. A short play on some episodes of Ramana enchants the audience before the burning of huge effigies of Ravana, Kumbhakarna and Meghna. This year, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the event will be held in only a symbolic manner so as to preserve the tradition at Kadvi Chowk with only few Saharan Dharma Yuvak Sabha members in attendance. In a horrific and bizarre road mishap in Kalmeshwara, result driven car hit a three-wheeler and later in a bit to escape, the driver hit two more persons on vehicle. The incident occurred on Sunday evening, leaving two persons seriously injured. A Honda city was being arrested driven by accused Shekhar Ramathar Gupta, a resident of Ravinagar, while going towards Katol. On the way, he dashed a three-wheeler Alpha driven by Naneshwar Vankade in front of Kalmishwar police station. While trying to escape the wrath of the people, Gupta speed further and hit a maestro being driven by Sandeep Gaikwad and one more vehicle driven by Sanjay Chauhan who suffered seriously head injuries. The car finally came to a halt and overturned at villages Garo. Gupta has been taken into custody by Kalmishwar police and further probe is underway. Raising objection to what Public Health Minister Rajesh Tope had recently said about increasing the number of beds at government hospital, MLA Krishna Khopar said that the proposal is good but proportionate increment in the skilled manpower to manage more bed and patient is also equally necessary. The GMCH is managing 600 beds successfully but more staff do need to be deployed. Tope has made a tall claims and issued directives but failed to realize the situational constraints in implementing them. The two tertiary care hospitals are providing quality health care to COVID-19 patients but as far as the private hospitals are concerned, people are running from pillar to post in order to obtain beds. This alarming situation should have been brought to the notice of the health minister too, Kopri said. He also lashed out at the NMC over mismanagement of the situation. As many as 43 persons came to COVID-19 on Sunday, with this the cumulative death toll in the district has now reached to 2,384. 
On the other hand, 1,650 persons have gone home after recovery and obtaining permission from medical authorities. But this is the total number of recovered patients in the district is now 58,266, including patients who have recovered during home isolation and treatment. The recovery rate of the district is now at 77.87%. The total corona positive cases tally of Nagpur district is now at 74,831 with 590 positive cases coming to light in the last 24 hours. While giving a breakup of the deaths, medical officials reveal that of the total casualties, 413 and 1739 persons are from the rural and urban areas of the district respectively, while as many as 231 persons are from outside Nagpur district. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnagar says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself.